So, I got a parcel this morning. I think I know what's in it, but I'm not sure, and I'm quite excited. So let's open it. It is from my friend Peter, who is a green chemist. This is sildenafil citrate, compound which probably most people haven't heard of. But it's the active ingredient of the pharmaceutical product that is called Viagra. Like many pharmaceutical products, this is a salt. It's a salt of citric acid. Citric acid is quite a common acid. You find them in citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, so on. So here, there's 17.98 grams. So this is more than enough to make over 300 standard tablets of Viagra. Now, I'm not going to open it because after that, none of my male colleagues would want to come into my office. Might not want to go into it myself because Viagra is a very potent drug. And it's a potent drug which causes blood vessels to distend, that is to expand, so blood flows around the body much more easily. One of its uses is for treating so-called pulmonary hypertension. So the blood is not flowing into your lungs properly, but if you take Viagra, it distends the blood vessels, and so it's easier for the heart to pump the blood through the blood vessels. It also affects other parts of the body. Like many blockbuster drugs, when it was discovered and developed, people didn't realise all the things it could do. They knew that it would distend blood vessels, but it was only when they were testing it and saw the effect on male rats that they realised that they were onto something quite exciting. You can see the compounds white. If you've seen pictures of Viagra tablets, they're blue. If you cut one in half, and I haven't done, then you would find that the blue is just a coating on the outside. Inside, it's just white, a mixture of this compound with some inert filler so that the tablet is a reasonable size so you can swallow it easily. Like many organic compounds that are complicated, it has a name that is so long, so I'll read it out because I'll never remember it otherwise. It's 1,4-ethoxy-3,6,7-dihydro-1-methyl, are you following me? 7 oxo 3 propyl one h pyrazolol 4 3 d that means it's right-handed, pyrimidine 5 il phenyl sulfonyl 4 methyl pyrazine citrate. When Viagra was first made, for each 10 gram sample, that's about half what I've got, they needed to use 13 and a half litres of solvent. But then after Peter Dunn applied the principles of green chemistry, they got this down just to about 60 millilitres of solvent. And that's a huge reduction in the amount of solvent. And they not only reduced the volume, the solvents they used were environmentally much more friendly. So thanks to my colleague Chris and the wonders of video, I've now got a model of the molecule. And you can see there's a sulfur atom here, which is yellow. The red ones here and here and here are oxygen atoms. And the blue ones are nitrogen atoms. The others are carbon and the, or hydrogen. And you can see the benzene ring here and another six-membered ring here. And it looks quite complicated. Chemists have designed this so that it will fit into a particular place on the enzyme that they're trying to stop operating in the body. There is an enzyme called phosphodiesterase, which is known in the trade as PDE5. What happens is PDE5 causes the blood vessels to contract. And obviously, it is quite embarrassing if at the wrong moment your blood vessels suddenly contract when you'd really like them to relax. And so what Viagra does is that it fits into the active place on the enzyme, the so-called active site, and blocks it so the molecule can't work. And this is why 
chemists have designed this molecule so the various nitrogen and atoms are in just the right place so that they can bond on to the hydrogens or whatever in the active sites of the S enzyme so it just doesn't work and your blood vessels stay really dilated till you're ready for them to go down.